What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing Avidus and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This is the second episode of our comma tutorial this month, breaking down this combination right here and breaking it down basically into digestible chunks so that the, at the end of the month you can do this combination for, you know, showing off, talent shows, whatever you really want to do. And of course, last episode, we covered the finger spin, this move right here that you see me doing. So if you don't know how to do that or need some pointers on how to do that, definitely check out the first part of this mini, mini series. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you're needing a set of commas yourself, check out the links down below. I have these commas specifically and a couple others linked down below for whatever, you know, co comma needs you have. And if you use the code NINJA10, you will get 10% off at checkout so that you can, you know, save a little bit while you're playing with weapons. But we're going to be getting into the first combination set right now. And that is starting off with our strikes. You're going to hold your commas just like normal. Starting off, you're going to step out with your left leg into a front stance going in the opposite direction, striking out horizontally. Our horizontals are going to be called chops and our verticals are going to be called punches for right now. So we have our chop punch and as you punch notice how my stance changes. So it's going to step out, chop, punch. Then you're going to switch stances again and with your left hand upper uh, palm up chop and palm down chop punch just like so. So one more time you can start with your finger roll just I'm, I skipped that but that's pretty pretty straightforward start with your finger roll whoop, and then stepping out chop punch chop chop punch and again palm up palm down punch now once you're at your final punch you're going to on the other side chop now I'm not switching my stances but I am leaning slightly more to exaggerate my stance as I chop on the other side and punch on the other side. So all together it should look like chop, punch, chop, chop, punch, chop, punch. Now from here, you're going to double strike down towards your knee at the same kind of angle as your leg is or roughly the same angle as your leg is. And as soon as you make your strike, make sure you flick your wrist to kind of exaggerate that strike. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, flick. And then as soon as you strike, you're going to take your right hand, vertical or a palm up finger roll and strike again. And that's just a simple double strike, palm up finger roll, strike again. Now, once you are here, you're going to take your comma, wrap around and go for a behind the back toss. Now the trick to this is to not toss forward, not toss away from you and not toss backwards. You wanna to toss up. Try and get it to go basically straight up and just a little bit out so you can reach it with your other hand. And when you catch it, you're gonna to wanna to catch it palm up. Palm up, just like so. So one more time, finger rolls, chop, punch, chop, chop, punch, chop, punch, double strike, we're back, strike again, coming around, and then for this combo, you're going to spin through and punch with your right hand. Now that is where our next combination picks up, so we're going to stop right now, I don't want to overwhelm you guys, but if you want to stay up to date on this combination and make sure you don't miss anything hit that subscribe button and you know ring the bell so you don't miss it because that's kind of important if you want to learn the full thing but until next time guys thanks for watching because my name's dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out if you like this video well check out the first episode duh 
or you can check out this other video that you do think you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you in the next one.